turbo cancers. Someone seems to be fine and non-symptomatic. And then all of a sudden you hear about people that are just hit with a stage four diagnosis, especially if they're like 37 or something like that. What would be happening in the body for something to go from a microscopic cancer? And then all of a sudden you're at stage four, but you don't even feel anything yet. Cancers can be slow growing, medium growing, or fast growing. Now I've done research on this. So a microscopic cancer that, that starts forming can't get any bigger than about two to three millimeters in diameter. That's about a grain of rice, okay? Um, can't get any bigger, no oxygen, no nutrients. It's stuck there waiting for the immune system to just take it out. But over time, some of these cancers are able to hijack a blood supply. So it's kind of like they kick the cockpit door open and they take over the plane. And, and when they take over the blood supply, when we've studied this, um, the first blood vessel that actually grows up to, uh, that's hijacked, that grows up to touch the tumor to deliver oxygen and nutrients can make that microscopic cancer explode in size 16,000 times in size. That's how fast it'll grow once it's fed in two weeks. All right, so that's why angiogenesis, tumor angiogenesis, abnormal blood vessel growth that tumors hijack is uh, such an yeah. important thing to prevent. And that's why diet, that's why medications, that's why lifestyle, whatever you can do to actually get in control of your own circulation so you can starve cancer by cutting up the blood supply, that is a very important thing to do.